if you win today, you can move up to the junior class. Last lap, go! There it is, there it is. Hold them off, dude, pin it. We got a beautiful day out here at Albany Motocross. Track is looking prime. Luke's ready to go. He's ready to battle. Luke, I got a, uh, a surprise for you. You've been wanting to move up to junior for a long time, and I think you might be ready, but I'm not sure. If you win today, you can move up to the junior class. You think you got this? Yeah. All right. Stink dog lost his exhaust out here. I know how that feels. It's happened to me since twice now. Call. I don't know who won that one. What do you think, Lil? Oh, what? You want to race next week? Can I race the women's class? Uh, I'm not a doctor, but I think you're probably allowed to do the women's class, yeah. No, I mean because it's like they're all on pig bikes. There's no 85s in it. Uh, yeah, I think, I think so. I think you probably do that. We'll ask. I can annihilate. Hey, Luke. Be sure to get lots of sand in your boots before the race, alright buddy? Still 
still stuck behind these guys. Let's see if we can make a pass in the room section. Like he caught back up to again. Last lap, man, you got two passes right in front of you. Follow the leader out there, Luke. What's going on, man? Do you remember how we talked about block passing? Like getting in front of someone, taking their line away. All right, so we got some good news and bad news. The bad news is Stink Dog's exhaust fell out. The good news is they have like chicken wire, so they're able to get it back on, and we think it's gonna stay. But also, I just found out that Stink Dog's got a YouTube channel, so uh, we're new to YouTube. Stink Dog Space Seven Two Six. Yeah, I'll link it below. Check him out. I don't know who won that last race. Do you? Uh, that... Wait, wait, got me, but oh man, got me by just a little hair. We're going for him though, next moto. All right, well we're gonna get him next moto. So go check out Stink Dog and tell him vlog epicness sent ya. Are you having fun? Yeah. Are you having the time of your life? Is this the racing. most fun ever? That would have been your class. That was the women's class that they're restarting right now. You want to race next week? Sure. I'll think about it. Let's talk about this a little. Yeah. Okay, so it turns out that the women's class they put with like I think the 50 and older men as well as the 125. 
riders. So they're all kind of like grouped together on the same gay drop, which I feel like you'd be doing pretty good if you're riding just women. But I don't know if I want you with like the old guys and the 125 guys. Can't trust them. They crash Can't trust them. them. Can't trust these guys. They come in hot in the corner. They are taking out the ladies. I don't like that. So the question is, what should we do? Should we put Lillian in the 85 beginner class or in the women's class where you have to share the track with all the big bikes? I don't know. What do you guys think? Ask people what they think. What do you think? What do you think? Great job. All right, look. You know what to do. Fist bump, that's what you do. Good job. Last moto of the day, we got Luke up on the line. He got third in the first moto. He was like right behind first and second. Hopefully a better start or better pass. second right now. I think those three are in his class. Better than last time. Second. 
Now it's getting hard for him to make passes. He made a pass. My son made a pass. I'm so happy for him. Happy Father's Day to me. Luke's got him in a few spots on the track. He's a little bit faster here and there. Unfortunately, this long rhythm section is not where he's faster though. He's losing ground right there. Man, that was a battle. Back and forth. Dad, I got him last second. I picked it and split out right here. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It looked like it looked like you might have had you. We'll have to check the replay, but good job, man. You were you were pinned down that section and I was a little nervous, but it worked out. He got me right there. He got me right there. He's fine. And then I just pinned it. I think I got him. Oh I don't know. We'll we'll check, but either way. I think I pulled a layer number four. Either way, you earn my respect. Dude, I slid out. I had to turn it down. And you like almost hit it over there. I was afraid you were gonna pin it into the crowd. <laughs> that was awesome. Best race of the day. Good job, buddy. Through that rhythm section, I think it's the fastest I've seen you go ever. Dude, I saw him come up to my left and I just pinned it, dude. Yeah. I popped it up in the third and 
on my bra. Well, he he was a little faster than you in the rhythm section. Like every lap, he seemed to catch up to you or pass you in the rhythm section. But that time, you're like, I'm not letting you by, and you just held it on. You got second. Sweet. So you got third in the first moto, and then what did you get in the second moto? First. You you ended up giving getting first. Nice. That's rad. I tell you what guys, that finish, it could have gone either way. Like, I don't know exactly where they marked the finish line. I think the other kid was ahead of him at the jump, but then on the landing, Luke was ahead. So exactly where they placed it, I don't know. But I guess they went ahead and gave it the win to Luke. So, good job, man. Your first moto win. First moto win. Next up, we got to get his first overall.